Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Today I'm going to be going over how to wire up a switch to an S7-1200. But first, before you start wiring up a, a switch to an S7-1200, you need to know a couple things about the. So the first thing that you need to know is there's three different types of S7-1200s, which is the DC-DC-DC, AC-DC -DC relay, and DC-DC -DC relay. So on that first part, it either is going to be an AC or a DC. So that's going to be the incoming power right there and right there. So as you can tell, that's actually 24 volts on this one. And there's 110 or 240 volts on this one. So that's going to be the first tell of how you're supposed to wire up the S7-1200. So that's going to be incoming power. So that's all of these right here. The next thing that you're going to want to go over is this middle part right there, the DC, DC, the DC side, which that's going to be your input side, input side. So you're going to want to make sure that you wire up only DC to that. The last part that you need to know is the output side, which is the third part, which is going to be the bottom side of the S7-1200, bottom side. So on this one right here, it's a relay. This one right here is 24 volts. So when you're talking relay, that's going to be power coming in and in what's relayed out for each individual output once they are turned on by the PLC. Compared to this 24 volt, you put plus 24 and minus 24, and then you will reference from your output to your device back to minus on the output side. So now to go over how to wire up a switch. So let me do a couple things. I'm going to move some of these things around and then I am going to add a switch. So give me a few seconds. All right, let's add the switch. So right now we have a switch. And since right now we're, we're looking at these wiring diagrams, they're a little bit confusing. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete some of these things so we can actually make sense of all of this. Okay. And so, then let's actually wire up this S7-1200. So first thing, this is line neutral ground. So let's grab the right color wire, okay? So first, let's do the, the line side will probably be a black wire. So let's, let's get that in there. All right. Line. And then let's do the neutral, which is going to be, let's just not do white because it would be impossible to see. Let's, uh, let's choose like a, like a gray color, like a gray color. So let's just choose that. And then for ground, just like you would know, we're going to choose the green. All right, so we have that working right now. All right, now that we got our line neutral ground hooked up to this PLC, now we can turn it on if we want it to. But for for all intents and purposes, we're going to continue on to how to wire up that switch that's off to the right, right here. So the first thing before we actually get these digital inputs wired up, we actually need to get a common back to our power supply. Since we don't have a power supply and I don't want to have to put one on the screen, I'm going to actually use the power supply that's on the S7-1200. This one's only rated for a certain amount of amps, so you're going to want to look at the manual before you start using that for everything. But for all, for our purposes, just to see that the digital input comes on, we're just going to wire it up straight to this 24 volt power supply that's made onto the 1200. So let's actually get that common wire bust over. So I'm going to I'm going to grab a black wire, and I'm going to actually jumper that from M to 1M. So we'll just jumper that out. So that will that will uh, complete our common connection. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually start wiring up our switch. So first thing that we want to do is we want to send out our positive voltage to our switch. And if we want it to be normally closed, we're going to click this one. And then we're going to come back on this screw back to our first digital in. But say we also want it to wire up the normally open. We could either grab another wire from this plus or 
what I would probably do because it would be easier for me so I don't have to run two wires. I would just do one wire. I would just jump from this normally closed to normally open. And then I would go back with our normally open wire. So in the end, as the unit is turned off, digital input zero is on all the time. But once you depress that button, the normally open one will become true while the normally closed will become false. So that's just a quick overview on how to wire up the S7 1200's digital input. First, you need to wire up the actual incoming power, which will be defined on the front of it with the AC-DC or DC-DC relay. And then your second part will be your DC input. So just so you know, DC input. All right. Thanks for watching. That's the overview for how to wire up a switch to an S7-1200.